Welcome, everyone. This is the GitLab Plugin Modernization Project Meeting. It's the 12th of May, 2023. And thanks for being here. So items on the agenda that I had, progress on Harsha's exams, preparing for project, project plan review, and then Harsh had asked a question, questions from Harsh. Um, availability of notes. And I'll put one more, availability of meeting recordings because yeah. I have not done the upload of the meeting recording yet. Um, any other topics you want to put on the agenda, Harsh? Um, not yet. I'll think during the meeting. Okay. We also had two preceding action items, Harsh to complete his author page and complete the project. And those are both done, or project description page. And those are both done as far as I could tell. Harsh, is that correct? Yep. Good. We were the first, by the way, just so everybody's clear. Ours was the first to get those two things done. Well done. Yep. All right. Okay. So then let's take on the question, your question, Harsh. So could you ask your question again? What was it? It was the meetings note were uploaded on the project page. Okay, so let's and so let's look at that. So first things first, let's find the project page and we'll put a link to it in. So the project page, I think what you're referring to is this page. Yep. Is that correct? Yep. And the okay, last good. should be meeting notes, right? Yeah, yeah the meeting so document over there. Okay, so on the project page. All right. So, and what what we've done in the past? So this links for meetings just goes to the same page. So I don't think that's what oh. we want. But oh. what we I think hey. we should do is update it, and let's just put an action item for me or for you, Harsh, whichever is fine. Um, update the project page to link Actually, to this the... Google Doc. Yeah, the meeting notes are actually there, but I didn't oh, is, uh, add it in the meeting tab. I think it's there. Uh, go go back again because yeah. I think I saw. Yeah, it. it's there. Meeting document. Oh, yeah, oh, meeting there document. it is. Okay, good. All right, so we've got it. Okay, good. So we don't have any action item. Perfect. That's why he was confused. I guess. Sorry about that. Well, and and I think it may be that this indicates. This thing linking here indicates that we've misused the structure of this page slightly. And, and I'm not sure what that means in terms of our misuse of the structure of the page because there's office hours over here, but there isn't a link on the on this page section for 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 links, right? So we see on this page we've got abstract. Yep. We've got rationale and we've got implementation and we've got office hours. But oddly enough, we don't have links. And so I think we may need to, to do a little bit of structural work on this page to fit whatever it was the original page creator had envisioned. Because this one also links to the, I would, I would expect that one to link to the Google Doc, not to the to the to this to this bottom page here bottom section here so harsh if it's okay this is sort of a documentation site structure question i propose that i take the action item on that one because i'm not sure i want to have you spend the time figuring out how to build the documentation site locally in order to test the the changes no problem i'm already busy with my examination Oh, you say you are finished with your exams? No, I'm not. I am busy with my exams. So I'm not okay, finished. good. So so then let's leave it. Okay, so Mark, wait to revise the project page. The, the reason for me to do it as well is this can help the other three projects know how to structure their pages for best success. So to move to place the meeting notes link in the expected location. Chris, are you okay with that? Yep. Okay, good. 
All right, so let's do that then. Good, okay. So Harsh, did that answer your first question, the availability of meeting notes on the project page? Yeah. Okay, so then the next one was meeting recordings. And I believe in our last session, we agreed that we would use community.jenkins.io. Are you is uh, did we agree on that? I'm looking now to see if we've got notes that remind me of that. Community. Uh, no, we didn't. Okay, so I have a proposal then. <laughs> so it's on the Gator channel. Oh, is that where it was? Okay, thank you, Harsh. That that's great. So, so the idea was, um, place the recordings on a, a community page. And are you still okay with that, Harsh, with that, that being yeah. the idea? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, very good. Okay, so, and what we got then is one more action item, which is Mark Wait upload, create the community page and upload the recordings for the most recent two meetings. And the reason the reason I put that one on me and not on you, Harsh, is because the upload the recordings requires permissions on the Jenkins YouTube account. And you don't have those permissions and probably wouldn't be granted them even if asked. Okay, so does that answer our questions on meeting recordings? Yep. Okay, great. All right, the next topic was progress on your exams. Harsh, how are you doing? I'm pretty fine. Don't worry about that. Um, regarding the project plan, the, how much details are you expecting in the project plan? Because I want to go all in. I'm literally like... Uh, how, what changes are going to be done in every class and how things are going to be executed. I am, I think I want to write them so that we could, we could discuss the complete migration with a bird's eye view um, till 19. So what is the level of detailing that you would like? I think like Chris I'm... mentioned. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, like Chris mentioned, it should be like the project proposal that I gave to Google, but a better, a better version and more detailed version of it. So what's your... I agree. That? I agree. It's, I think we want even more detail than the project proposal with you giving more thought to how you approach it. I like your phrasing bird's eye view of the migration plan, because I think that is, that helps Chris and I and Freyam uh, see, okay, this is where Harsh is, is going. He's going to do this first and then this, and then this, and then this, and it helps helps you think about the incremental steps you will take along the way. Because now, certainly we know that reality inevitably surprises us. That's okay, right? We, we, don't, we don't give up in dismay when reality surprises us and something we didn't know comes, arrives. But your, your ideas of, I want to do this, then this, then this, are really good things for for. Chris and me and Freyam to be able to review and coach and encourage. Yep. Now, in terms of, of, I think, I would think in our next session, we do a, if it's good, if that document is available before the meeting. Yeah, I plan to make it before the meeting. Great. Before 19th. That, that just helps Chris and, and me and Freyam do a review in advance so that we can come with questions to ask you questions and to have a conversation about what about this and what about that. So it has to be uploaded on the wiki page, right? That. Uh, no, you can, you could, you could just do it as a Google doc. Okay. That's fine. That's better. Yeah. In fact, I, I find it easier for these kinds of, back and forth conversations if we do it in a google doc that way you can you we can make revisions you can even if you decide to allow us to revise it write it right there
good. All right. So anything, anything else on any other questions or topics on the preparing for the project plan review? Yeah, so after the project plan, like we discussed the project plan, the blog post has also, like I'll have to submit the blog post also, right? So what uh, do I, uh, is it fixed that I have to submit a blog post in the last week or uh, uh, like, can I submit it before that? Yes. Because, uh, yeah, I can submit before that. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, so blog post I want questions. To start, I want to start contributing beforehand, before the coding phase actually begins, because I'll have to take a break for my examinations in the coding phase one. So I have to cover that up in the community burning phase. That's what I was thinking. And the, related to the project plan, I'll try to finish it as fast as possible after my exams get over. Very good. And the for your exams, that if I remember, that's at least a week. You had I outlined that in the in the project proposal already. So it will take a week off for exams, and that was during the sort of during the summertime, during during the project. Let's just call it that. Yeah, forty phase one, July sixth to around thirteenth, I think, like that. Very good. I don't really remember the date you have to refer to the project proposal for that. Right. So roughly, uh, that's that's more than more than fine. Just telling each other. Good. Okay. Now, Chris had reminded me in a meeting, in a, a separate meeting, that um, there is an upcoming community bonding checklist. Yep. From the organization admins. So, Chris, is that something we would review in? We could review in our May nineteenth session, or what? What do you recommend? I think I think it should be ready by May nineteenth. Great. Okay. Any other topics we should be sure we discuss today? Harsh, are there topics that are on your mind? The technical doubt I'll discuss in the when the project plan is submitted so that we can discuss it all at once. Other than that, I don't really have anything. Okay. All right. I think that covers everything we needed to do then. I've got two action items. Oh, and I guess really the re the biggest action item is harsh prepare for prepare the detailed the more detailed project plan for discussion at the May 19 meeting. And then we'll do it during the project plan review next Friday. Chris, Chris, anything else from you? No. All right, then let's call it well done. Enjoy your Friday evening, Harsh. Thanks very much for joining. And we'll good luck on your next exam on Sunday. And we look forward to seeing, seeing the ideas on your bird's eye view of the, of the plan. And then we'll talk further next Friday. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you.